Hey guys and gals, Insomnia from UnrealTech.net, a division of BlenderTech.com here. And today I'm going to show you how to bake texture maps in Substance Painter to use in other programs as well as having them for use in your project for generators, masks, smart materials, and the like in Substance Painter. We'll also go through how to set up a new project and we'll move forward from there. So once again, remember, create your way, grab some popcorn, and let's get started. I've gone ahead and quickly remodeled a model I'm designing for a futuristic prop set and I've made it much more simple and changed its looks a lot and I will post a link to the FBX in the description if you want to follow along exactly. If you're not following along exactly however, um, I wanted to start off with uh, texture baking because it is something that Substance Painter does really well that um, you might just use it for. Uh, alone. So we're going to go File New to make a new project and it's going to ask us for a mesh so we're going to hit select and so I'm going to select my uh, tutorial version here and that is that. It's going to ask you for normal map format, DirectX or OpenGL. Uh, that just really uh, sets the green channel uh, to plus or minus Y and you can change it later document resolution again This can be changed at any time without loss. I'm gonna work at uh, 1024 since this is fairly low to mid poly, but because I'm recording um, So all we got to do is hit ok and it will import our mesh and as we went over in the last videos we have our controls and such and I've set this project up so that we have, remember I told you about the solo button, we have the hoses and this top set up uh, separately. We have main body, so that's the main body, oh there's some gaps in there. Um, the main body, this little piece and the actual pump and um, the screen and pump. So this would be the display screen that we'll be texturing. As you can see it's not perfectly modeled, I really went through this quick and uh, the little uh, hose holder thing. So um, I'm going to turn it back on all. I'm going to turn the environment opacity down to zero. Um, and I'm also going to turn shadows onto main. And that should work. Yeah, I'm happy enough with that. So, um, that's a little bit slow. Maybe we'll turn shadows off. Yeah, okay. So, to bake textures, all you have to do, remember we have our um, texture set settings up here. And this is our stock texture set, uh, base color, height, which gets turned into a normal map and a height map, roughness and metallic. And if we want to, we can add more textures. For example, in this project, uh, I'm going to want an emissive for glowing stuff. So I'm going to add an emissive uh, layer so that we can paint with emissive, emiss, emiss, emissiveness <laughs> as well. So to bake textures, all you do is you hit this bake textures button. And we have world, world space, normal, ID, ambient occlusion, curvature, position, and thickness. Now, normal, world space, normal, and ambient occlusion are the only maps that you would really use outside of this software, um, except for really extreme cases where you're doing really complicated materials. However, um, all of these will be used for the uh, materials and generators and masks and stuff that we will be using throughout this tutorial series so we will need them all. Um, the output size, um, when I'm working just in Substance Painter I like to do uh, 1024 or 248 um, but when you go for output you probably, it, depend, it depends on your prop size of course always your mesh size like how it's going to look in game or if it's a render if it's a render you're going to want full quality obviously so you want to you would want to rebake it later at a higher quality or if you're only baking the texture maps and not doing any paint then you would want to choose a higher size but i'm going to do it at 1040 10 1024 by 1024 1k and i'm going to change the dilation width to two now um all we need to do is import our high definition mesh. So we just hit this little uh, new file or new page button and we're going to import the exact same mesh because we are working from high poly to high poly. We're not working from high poly to low poly, although this is a way you can do it. Um, Anti-aliasing, we're just going to set two by two. It won't make much of a difference because um, 
I'm using this more so for in the program and where we don't need a cage or anything and so all the options are pretty good stock uh, in the ambient occlusion if you want higher quality you can set um, the secondary rays higher I'm gonna warn you that will make it take way longer to bake however and um, other than that that is about it so after that you just hit bake textures and since this one's like I said pretty low poly it'll go and since we don't have super high ray counts it'll go pretty fast and uh, they'll pop up in our textures panel they'll also pop up under additional maps here and they'll show up in our export options so first of all I'm just quickly going to show you why we do this first and then I'm going to show you how to export it if you weren't using substance painter for painting there you go you can see we have our uh, we have our normal um, we have our world space normal we have our ID we have our ambient occlusion we have our curvature position and thickness and they've shown up in our textures list here so as you can see it does a really good job of a really nice clean AO map and uh, normal map and such so um yeah if we were gonna use a uh, smart material or something let's say I was gonna just apply the machinery one of my favorite stocks to this stock ones um, you will see that it looks pretty darn great that is because it has all these maps to work off of if we go into here and we turn off all of that I should have done this first but if we if we turn all of this off you'll see that it basically yeah it looks okay but it doesn't look great so that's why you really need those input maps and yeah you can play with just the color to get the effect but having the maps makes it really uh, mesh uh, what would you call it mesh dependent maybe I guess you could say so I'm just gonna quickly re-add those maps so we can go ahead and we can quickly I'm just gonna throw this back up we can quickly throw it on the other two uh, machinery and like I said uh, it'll automatically pick them out except for I forgot to tell you that you need to bake them for every single material totally forgot about that so um this will be a good example so this is what it looks like with just throwing the smart material on there with no uh, input maps or no tweaking but when we go to bake textures you will see so we're gonna do the exact same thing um, just this time it's for main body instead of screen and pump so we will bake textures it was a bit faster this time because that had less polys and you should see the difference pretty severely you can see how much better that looks immediately because it has the maps now to work with so we will go ahead to hoses and do it one last time bake textures and bake so now that that's done all we have to do is throw our machinery layer on and there we have it done 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 deal you could even throw a uh, rubber on it because technically it's like a rubber layer although we would want to mask it out later because you would want the uh this little um, part of the body you would want it to be different looking but not bad not bad and in fact the um, screen and pump I would probably do something like I think there's a visor one here where are you glass visor yeah that would look a lot better probably without any masking so kind of cool looking I don't think it has any oh yeah it has some emissiveness so it's kind of cool looking for stock anyways once we get some decals and stuff on there it'll really it'll really start looking good but that will be in another in another video um so okay now that we have all of our textures baked i'm just gonna save this so i'm just gonna call this uh futuristic futuristic uh, gas pump tutorial so um we have all these textures for each of our materials and so we want to export them to use in an external program 
that's the basis of this uh, video. So all we do is we go to export textures. And so we have our texture sets, hoses, main body, screen and pump. However, it's gonna it's gonna out, output what we wanted here, the, the height, roughness, metallic, normal, base color, whatever you choose here. Um, you know, emissive, normal, roughness, metallic, base color. So what we would want to do instead is go to configuration and we would want to make a new preset and we could call this let's just call it baked maps and um, we have input maps and we have converted maps and we have mesh maps so we're gonna work with um, mesh maps our input maps are what we are actually painting but our mesh maps are what we um, baked so we want AO obviously so we want AO can be just an R just a grayscale actually I believe ambient occlusion uh, where do you go right on there from ambient occlusion the gray channel um, and if we wanted we could throw something like the ID um, into um, if we went RGB alpha sorry delete that we could put the ambient occlusion in here and we could put something like the any of the other ones in the alpha channel if we really wanted but uh, I'm not going to I'm just going to use uh, an RGB layer I guess and ambient occlusion uh, from the gray channel and that uh, output maps um, I don't exactly remember how to um, name these so I have to copy this just so that I can remember so we have mesh will be replaced with this and then underscore texture set so that'll be our material and then we'll have um, what map so this will be AO so let's add a, another one um, we want a normal so that'll be an RGB so let's do an RGB and drag in our normal we want our RGB channels and we'll call that norm We'll add another RGB and we'll do and uh, we'll take out the whoa something's lagging let's Chrome apparently let's uh, take the world space normal take its RGB channels and we'll call this uh, come on uh, world space norm Sometimes that can be useful, and that is really all I can think that people would usually want to use. So let's, uh, we got that saved now. I believe that that will save. So we can now, whoops, we can now go to configuration and baked maps. You'll see it's now going to put out an ambient occlusion normal and world space normal um, for all of them. And we can up it to say 2K if we wanted. And uh, we baked them at 1K though, so it wouldn't really matter in that case. This would only matter um, for painted stuff. So you want to out output it at what you baked it at. You can choose the file format here. Uh, PNG is pretty standard. Uh, I do like using uh, TGA Targa when I want to combine multiple channels together, but PNG does it too, so pretty good. And it's uh, it's got a good... Uh, good lossless compression size so you just choose somewhere for it to export so let's go new folder um, we'll call this futuristic gas pump tutorial I'll make a new folder whoa new folder called uh, baked maps select folder and then just hit export and we'll let it do its thing export complete successfully open folder and so we now have all of our nice maps 
and so we could go in and we could we could use these uh, immediately in a program so what I've done is I've imported it into Unreal Engine of course my favorite and we have uh, materials applied but no base or just a base color just a basic white like a Lambert I guess you would call it and so we'll just quickly I've imported the textures too we'll just quickly show how this uh, can be used so I'll create two new textures in each of the materials or two new texture inputs texture texture and texture texture and so we will select uh, main body um, AO and body norm so we will connect that up to normal and ambient occlusion you can see how that's adding some detail already we'll save that screen and pump so this is a little pump screen maybe pump screen yep AO and oops screen pump norm so that'll be normal that'll be AO save that And hoses so we got let's see here hoses yep hoses AO and hoses norm so we got ambient occlusion and we've got normal and save that and then once it's done if we go back and let it refresh come on do your thing maybe we'll reopen it Maybe there's just not much details to see because of um, because there's no base color. But either way, as you can see, we we can use them totally in any program you want. Yeah, there's some ambient occlusion in there. Um, normal details. I'm not so sure. I guess you could call that normal details, although it shouldn't be there. But Regardless, it's totally usable uh, without having to use Substance Painter for painting. You can use it for baking just like that. Yeah, the handle shows some AO in there. Uh, pretty low resolution, but it works for uh, 13,000 triangles. So yeah, that is that. So um, on the advice of a couple of people, uh, I'm now accepting donations for my tutorials at www.paypal.me slash blender tech that's blender t-e-k so thanks for watching from the team here at unreal tech division of blender tech.com if you enjoyed this video and learned something please like it don't forget to subscribe for more videos we're on social media on the links on your screen if you dislike this video for some reason please tell us why so we can continually improve based on your community input we also take requests so we'll see you next time remember create your way